Finding the best graphic card for your needs can be a pain. There are so many options available on the market right now, which makes it hard to find the one that will be best for you. Well, in this video, we'll break down the top eight best graphic cards available on the market this year based on price versus performance and situations that they'll be used in. I've included options for every type of consumer. So if you're looking for something great for casual gaming or heavy video editing, the best of the best or anything in between will have the perfect GPU for you. So if you're interested in finding out which graphics card will be best for you, watch the video until the end so you don't miss anything. Thing. All the links to find the best and most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. It's free. We'll kick things off today with the AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT, our pick for best overall AMD graphics card on the market. If you're looking for the best GPU but are unable to afford an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 because of its high price, the AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT is the perfect choice for you. Designed for 4K, it's the rival of Nvidia's RTX 3080 that you'll see later in the video, but at a lower price. These cards run on an all-new RDNA2 architecture and are breaking new records in core count and various key components. An interesting feature of the RX 6900 XT is the use of Smart Access Memory, also known as SAM technology. This technology allows you to increase the performance in-game if your RX 6000 is coupled with a Ryzen processor of the latest generation. The performances of the RX 6900 XT are impressive, and they're quite similar to that of the RX 6800 XT. However, we have 80 compute units, 128 megabytes of Infinity Cache, and 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Also, note that the card offers a base frequency of 215 MHz and a boost frequency of 2.25 MHz. Its power is 300 watts, and AMD recommends a power supply of 850 watts to use it. To give you an idea of its performance, AMD explains that in 4K with ultra-high settings, the card delivers a solid 70 frames per second in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. With the same settings in Dirt 5, you end up with 76 frames per second. If we go down to 1440p, you will easily get 204 FPS in Fortnite. Even more, in Overwatch with epic settings in 1440p, you can even reach 326 FPS. It's a must-have for people who are looking for a powerful 4K or even 8K GPU without breaking the bank. Next up, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 and 3080 Ti our picks of the best premium NVIDIA graphics card for 4K gaming. Slightly less powerful than the RTX 3090, the GeForce RTX 3080, and its TI version are nonetheless one of the best options for gamers, video editors, streamers, and more. It's a formidable card in terms of performance. Like the 3090, these cards benefit from all the latest technologies that gamers love, such as DLSS, which allows the card to do some pretty impressive tricks. It's equipped with a minimum of 10 gigabyte of GDDR6X RAM and offers a powerful raw 30T FLOPS for shader cores, 58T flops for RT cores, and 238T flops for tensor cores. This is definitely the best graphics card for people who want to play 4K games at 60 frames per second without a glitch, all with ray tracing enabled. The TI version has a high number of CUDA cores. 10,240 versus 8,704 for the 3080, and logically offers higher graphics performance. It also has more tensor and RT cores to better manage GLSS and ray tracing. Moreover, NVIDIA recommends a minimum power supply of 750 watts for these two graphics cards. In addition to gaming, this graphics card can be suitable for editing heavy video content up to 8K. It also improves live streams by allowing the use of better compression algorithms. Next up, the Radeon 6700 XT, our pick of the best AMD graphics card for 1440p gaming. Positioned just below the RX 680, AMD offers with its RX 6700 XT a graphics card that is aimed at all gamers with a 1440p screen. It allows you to reach high refresh rates in games with the graphics settings at maximum. In terms of specifications, 
the Radeon RX 6700 XT is logically more modest than the top cards in this list. It's equipped with 12GB of VRAM, which is more than the amount of video memory allocated on most cards in NVIDIA's RTX 3000 family. This means it can run some of the latest video games at 1440p with all graphics settings turned up to the max. The RX 6700 XT uses 40 compute units, which is half as much as the RX 6900 XT. It also has a smaller Infinity cache than its big Navi predecessors, with 96 megabytes here versus 128 megabytes on other models. As for the performance of the RX 6700 XT, it beats Nvidia's RTX 3070 in games such as Dirt 5, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, or Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Nevertheless, the Nvidia RTX 3070 is more powerful than the 6700 XT in other games like Cyberpunk 2077 and Watch Dogs Legion. If you want a smooth gaming experience for casual or entry-level gaming, the Radeon 6700 XT is an excellent choice for you. If you want a GPU with a lot of power but you have a limited budget, the GeForce RTX 3070 and 3070 Ti are our pick for the best value for money NVIDIA graphics card. They are perfect if you want to perform heavy tasks or if you're more interested in gaming in 1440p. The GeForce RTX 3070 and the 3070 Ti model are without a doubt among the best graphics cards that NVIDIA currently offers. We have 8% more performance than the RTX 2080 Ti and 70% more performance than the 2070. On the technical side, it comes with 8GB of standard GDDR6 memory that delivers raw power of 20 TLOPS for shader cores, 40 TFLOPS for RT cores, 163 TFFLOPS for tensor cores, a base frequency of the card is 1500 MHz. It is therefore an excellent alternative to the high-end models if your goal is to play 1440p games with good performance regardless of the quality of the graphics. Also keep in mind that the RTX in the card's name means that it supports ray tracing as well as DLSS and is equipped with two fans that know how to do their job well even in overclocking. With it, you have access to 4K gaming at medium and high to get a really pleasant rendering beyond 60 frames per second. It also comes with a commercial guarantee of up to 3 years. Next up, the MSI 3080 Ti Supreme X, our pick for best graphics card for most people. At 2 kilos, 33 centimeters long and 14 centimeters wide, the MSI 3080 Ti Supreme X is a monster capable of satisfying your most insane fantasies. This GPU of the Extreme is especially impressive in terms of performance. Like its little sister, the 3080 Ti FE, the Ti Supreme X is equipped with 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X. Of course, this is not as powerful as the 3090, but it's still a very good point that allows you to keep the price much lower than the 3090 FE while offering about the same power. Take Cyberpunk 2077 in 4K for example. This card beats the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 FE by a small margin with 57 frames per second. At 1080p on Call of Duty, we reach a figure of 245 frames per second. To achieve this, you must ensure that you have enough space and a consistent power supply. 1000 watts is recommended, while the minimum requested by the Taiwanese manufacturer is 850 watts. This is not exaggerated, considering that it has a titanic frequency of 1.845 GHz. Compared to the GeForce RTX 3090, its performance over price ratio remains very good. This GPU will delight the most passionate FPS collectors or gamers who want the best graphics at high resolution. If money is not an issue for you, then the MSI 3080 Ti Supreme X is the ultimate card for your needs. Next up, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 and 3060 Ti, our pick for the best NVIDIA graphics card to choose for full HD and 1440p gaming. Even at a low price, you shouldn't underestimate the RTX 3060 and 3060 Ti from NVIDIA, which turns out to be a GPU with a lot of power. They are excellent in 1440p and perfect in 1080p. As for its technical specifications, the RTX 3060 has 3584 CUDA cores, 12GB of memory on a 192-bit bus. 
Its base frequency is 1.32 GHz and it can go up to 1.78 GHz in boost mode. The card has a TDP of only 170 watts, which is 10 watts more than the RTX 2060. With the GeForce RTX 3060, you get a level of performance comparable to that of the AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT graphics card, which is just an outstanding mid-range performance. We like the fact that it has all the technologies of the more expensive NVIDIA models including DLSS which pushes the performance of the GPU to the highest level by using machine learning and upscaling technologies. You also benefit from NVIDIA's G-Sync technology for minimum latency and more. Ray tracing is also enhanced by its second generation RT cores. Next up, the AMD Radeon RX 6800 and 6800 XT, our picks for the best high-end AMD graphics card to choose for 4K gaming. In the upper range of AMD, we find the Radeon RX 6800 and 6800 XT. Launched in November 2020, they had the challenge of bringing ray tracing and gaming to 4K and 60 frames per second to compete with Nvidia. Whether it's a matter of choice or opportunity, the AMD Radeon 6800 is the best graphics card on the market against NVIDIA's RTX 3080. We are entitled to a last generation RDNA 2 architecture, 60 improved computing units, 128MB of Infinity Cache, and up to 16GB of VRAM GDDR6 to boost your video games up to 4K. With this GPU, AMD explains that you can expect to get around 60 frames per second in games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey or Dirt 5 at ultra high settings and if you lower the resolution a little bit to 1440p, the frame rate count flies. Even more, with epic settings you get up to 156 frames per second in Fortnite and the number goes up to 266 frames per second in Overwatch. Like Nvidia, AMD offers a series of technologies like Fidelity FX, which is the equivalent of DLSS or AMD FreeSync, which is the equivalent to Nvidia's G-Sync. Finally, we present you the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3090, the best overall graphics card available today. If you're looking for the finest graphics card of this year, then the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3090 is the most powerful GPU available today. When it's not out of stock, this card is the most powerful example of the second generation NVIDIA RTX Ampere architecture. It breaks records in RT and Tensor core count and embeds new stream multiprocessors to double its AI and ray tracing performance. Indeed, it features 24GB on GDDR6X VRAM memory, more than double the amount found on the RTX 2080 Ti, which offers 11GB. In terms of performance and raw power, it delivers no less than 36 TFLO pops for the shader cores, 69 TFLOPs for the RT cores, and 385 TFLOPs for the tensor cores. You also get no less than 10,496 CUDA cores with a base frequency of 1.40 GHz and boost of 1.70 GHz. The RTX 3090 is compatible with DirectX 12 Ultimate and offers all the latest graphics technologies from NVIDIA including DLSS, PCIe Gen 4, Resizable Bar, GeForce Experience, Highlights, G-Sync, GPU Boost, and more. Thanks to its deep learning superscaling technology, this card has the power to scale up images and produce perfect 4K or even 8K HDR renderings without straining the GPU. It also means that gamers can play their favorite games with all the settings maxed out, without making the frames per second meter flinch. So if you want a powerful monster that is primarily intended for professionals in 3D modeling, streaming, video editing, gaming, or even scientific conducted research and more, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 is the best way to go. Alright guys, that's all for today. Please like the video if you found it helpful and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos. Check the links in the description for the best up to date pricing of all the products mentioned in this video. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Ciao!